and welcome back to the second part of this video guide on uh, WordPress from scratch with Tiso Host. Okay, so um, you have purchased your domain and hosting with Tiso Host, and you have been sent an email uh, called Hosting Account Live, and in there will contain all your setup information. Um, so let's get started with setting up your hosting account. Right, so what you need to do is you need to go to email and copy the URL, which is control.gridhost.co.uk. Okay, when you visit, you'll come here. So let's type in username and the password and log in. And it asks you to change your password. Um, let's log in. Okay, so now, here is the dashboard. What we want to do is we want to click add new website. Okay, now as we've purchased the domain with Tisa Host, all we need to do is type in the domain here. So it's wp.wtf or whatever your domain is. So once we've done that, click next. And there's some options to what you would like the hosting platform to be. Uh, we'll stick with Linux, because uh, WordPress works perfectly with Linux. So let's click Create Site, and that will create a new site. We'll just wait for that. That should take a, a couple of seconds. Okay, so your you've added a site to your hosting account. What we need to do now is scroll scroll down and click install applications. Okay, so this will build the WordPress CMS on your hosting account. So let's click that there. And then all you need to do is click install next to WordPress. Okay, and then install application. This should take up to five minutes. Um, it's quite a quick install. Once this is done, essentially your WordPress site is up and running on your domain. So we'll come back to this when it's done. Awesome, so welcome back. The application is installed. So WordPress is now installed at your domain. So it's installed at wp.w2f now. Um, at the top here is pretty much the most important information that we need to log in. It's your login detail, so your username and your password. Um, but that will end this section of the video. Um, so you have installed WordPress. In the next part of the video, we'll look at logging into your WordPress site and changing your user details your login details.